Venus is the second brightest natural object in the night sky after the moon. Venus, the second planet from the sun, is the hottest and brightest planet in the solar system. After the moon, Venus is the brightest object in the night sky as seen from Earth. Even in bright daylight, Venus is visible to the naked eye. It can also cast shadows. Just before sunrise or for a few hours after sunset, Venus is visible to the naked eye. Sometimes you can see Venus even in a completely dark sky. Venus is a relatively nearby planet to Earth. But its distance is not the only reason why it appears so bright. Astronomers use the term, albedo to describe the brightness of a planet. The albedo is a comparison between how much brightness is absorbed and how much of it is reflected. Venus has the highest albedo of any planet in the solar system. It has close to 0.7 albedo, which means that it reflects about 70% of the sunlight that strikes it. Even the moon, which is nearer to Earth, and could appear brighter at times than Venus, only reflects 10% of the light that hits it. Venus is so bright and luminous that Earth's neighboring planet outshines all other celestial objects in the night sky except for the moon. Not even stars could compare to its brightness as viewed from Earth. In ancient times, Venus was often thought to be two different stars, the evening star and the morning star, that is, the ones that first appeared at sunset and sunrise. Jupiter is a bright planet, and Mars sometimes gets bright, too. But neither Jupiter nor Mars at its brightest can outshine Venus. Venus' proximity to Earth is a key factor in why it appears bright and big as viewed from Earth. When it is at its closest to Earth, Venus could come within 41 million kilometers closer than any planet in the solar system. But even when it is at its most distant, it is only 261 million kilometers from Earth. Moreover, Venus' proximity to Earth means that it is at its brightest during its crescent phase and only slightly fainter when it is at its farthest during its full phase. Neither Jupiter nor Mars could compete with Venus even when the planet is at its faintest. Additionally, the clouds of sulfuric acid in Venus' atmosphere make it reflective and shiny. The multiple thick layers of sulfuric acid clouds play a tremendous role in pushing Venus to its extremes because it's blanketed by highly reflective clouds. The clouds in the atmosphere of Venus contain droplets of sulfuric acid, as well as acidic crystals suspended in a mixture of gases. Light bounces easily off the smooth surfaces of these spheres and crystals. Sunlight bouncing from these clouds is a big part of the reason that Venus is so bright. However, further observations of Venus in the space age show a very, hellish environment. This makes Venus a very difficult planet to observe from up close because spacecraft do not survive long on its surface.